I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. About to get into Carmen went live with Big Bug. Big dude. We about to get into that, girl. I don't know what happened in the live. I just know they went live. That was going on here. Normally don't have that problem. Whatever. Get it. Oh God. We get fired out your day off, you blame me here. Are we just are we kicking it in a oh we're in a Maybach truck? Watch it Friday. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is a, okay. Mm. Hey, Jay. Man. Oh, that's him. She was a man right there. So he in the Maybach truck got it. Okay, when did he go live with Carmen? Carmen. Yep, Carmen. Oh God, he went live with her for two seconds. <laughs> Since everybody think I'm next to you. That's crazy. They swear you they swear you next to me. This is where I'll be with you 24-7. Why is you on her plan for? <laughs> I'm not playing. What you talking about? Yes, yeah, you will. I ain't playing. I'm Still just giving them, I'm just giving them what they want. Good please. <laughs> well please go on now. Look, you, you just made they day. No, you girl, made they please. Girl, please. I, I tell them you love them. Go on now, tell them you love them. I love y'all so much, and say thank you to him for adding me to the live. Ah, ah, go on. All right, bye. 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 I bet this motherfucker move. <laughs> Yo, be kicking it in a Maybach watching Friday. Smoking up. Sound like a good time to me. All right, y'all, let me know what you're thinking. Bye. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I tried, okay? Uh, Maddie went live today, and she was live for probably an hour. The live is no longer there. So Real T has the footage. She got 20 minutes of the live. I cannot react to the whole 20 minutes. <laughs> that damn Maddie, that baby born. Okay. So she um she spoke about, you know, how she's feeling now and that she had a miscarriage. So I just want to get y'all that right. Um, how have you been mentally since everything happened? Like I said and okay. aforementioned previous questions. I've been all over. Like I've been emotional happy angry every feeling in the book um yeah so i thought you was pregnant i was pregnant and i had a miscarriage i didn't want to say it like publicly because people are very insensitive and that is where a lot of my grief and stuff was to be honest a lot of people don't feel like she was pregnant um and i became one of them First, I thought she was, but I became one of them the way she started showing receipts. So the thing about receipts is if you're a receipts person, um, you show the majority. But what you pay attention to is the people that do show receipts, they show the receipt to prove themselves right. She hasn't proved that she hasn't shown her receipt. The receipt would be an ultrasound. It would be a doctor's visit. It would be a... I got to go to the doctor tomorrow. It would be something like that. Um, 
even not even as a receipt, just yeah, y'all, I gotta go to the doctor because I gotta check on so and so. All we know is she went to the emergency room, um, and she said that she was bleeding. So she very well could have. If she did, I give my condolences. Um, you know, and I, I pray that uh, she can get through that for sure. But if she didn't, Jesus, come on now. It's coming from. That's where I'm at. Just around that area because it was like I knew it was happening. And it was kind of like one of those things that it was just like. <sighs> yeah, it's too personal. I really wanted to get into that, but um, it's very sensitive and people could be really insensitive, especially on the Internet. People are very harsh. I was already dealing with the fact that I put something that's so sacred out publicly when I shouldn't have in the midst of me and the person going through you know separating things like that like dealing with all of those emotions the anger and the rage from that while navigating that was like hell on earth for me personally like behind closed doors like i didn't even show the internet half of like what was really running through my mind like different allegations even dealing with this and that and this and that and it's just like people telling me you need to kill it you need to get an abortion like all of that was really fucking with me and like i couldn't show it and it's still like i'm i know now that every, i always know that everything happens for a reason and i'm cognitive of that but it doesn't change the different feelings associated with things like that especially because i've had two miscarriages before mm. so first of all um you know god shows up in 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 mysterious ways okay and it may not be the best thing you think at the time, but it ends up being one of the best things that ever happened in your life. And, you know, sometimes we do question it like, damn, well, God, I mean, what did I do to deserve this? But he's trying to tell you, you deserve better, my child. So I'm going to have to take this from you for you to elevate and, and, and not deal with that person for the rest of your life. Look at Carmen and the first baby. So it's kind of like, as a woman, if there's women on here, you could, you could kind of understand how I feel, especially if you're like, if you have kids or you're trying to have kids or whatever the case may be, it's easy to feel like feelings of, and this is separate from the person, like separate, separate it. I'm separating it from the person. Cause if I, if I, if I bring the person in, it's like, okay, yo, thank God I don't have that kid no more because that would have been hell on earth. Right. But separating it from the person just on a personal level for me personally as a woman, because I never calculated the person in my plans, like never did. Separate from that, you could start to feel like, like I almost feel like I don't even want, I don't even want to try again. Does that make sense? Like those type of feelings, like that is a very like hard process to go through of like, I don't even ever want to try again because this is almost like traumatizing. Like PTSD, like, okay, back to back to back. Like, not, like, not Especially back. three different times, I understand that. Back to back, but like, I've had three different miscarriages, and I'm 27, it's like, okay, period. You just give up, type shit. Nah, uh, but you know what? I know um, somebody that had several miscarriages, and um, and bad ones, too, real bad. And she ended up having a, a, a cute baby boy, and he's healthy as he can be. So that's like, Nobody wants to go through that over and over again with their body. Don't get me wrong. The whole separate grieving process that I'm kind of in and have been trying to work through, but that answers y'all whole questions about that. But the follow-up question, so was you really pregnant or was you lying the whole time? I wasn't lying, and that's why it was even harder because it's like I really didn't care too much about the Internet, but it was just, like, frustrating. Cause it's like all these things is all at once. You know what I mean? Contradicts itself sometimes too, because it's like, if you didn't care about what was going on in the internet, on the internet, then, you know, it shouldn't bother you. Like, um, what's her name? Damn, I forgot her name. I never can think of names because 200 things be running through my mind while I'm trying to think of this on the spot. The older woman who still looked like she 20, who had a baby with a 25 year old. Y'all know who I'm talking about. They was going crazy in her comments. I didn't give a damn. <laughs> and 
And when she said she didn't give a damn, she meant it. I mean, like, trying to navigate anything in a public light is it's a lot harder. Like, ten times harder. Like, if shit wasn't in a public light, it would be like, okay, period. You got motherfuckers asking you for screenshots, personal screenshots, prove this, prove that. And I'm just like... Anything else, when shit is like shits and giggles, it's, you know, it's cool. But when you're talking about personal things like your body and... And I could take accountability and say, okay, Maggie, you should never brought it to the public. Duh, bitch. What you thought? Hello. You know what I mean? Like, that's flat out. Understood. That's number one. But it don't change or take away from the fact that I'm still a human being. I'm still a real person in real life. I go I through agree. real things, real emotions, real, like, and I feel like the internet is so harsh and it negates all of that. And like I said, on a personal level, like, just me with my life and that shit is so taxing. It's so taxing. So, um, Yeah. I'm not answering anything about that really that person and whatever they got going on over there. It's never gonna be the right time. Just do a small 15 QA. Yes, right. I think I'm also like I think my delay with YouTube is kinda like So she's not talking about court, obviously. So I had to um give y'all that video and I'm saying uh hopefully Hopefully she figures it out um, and I, she'll get through it. You know, she's 27. She'll definitely get through it. God knows it was only two months. She ain't got no choice but to get through it. <laughs> but um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. At the end of this, uh, Carmen was, well, I might put that in the beginning. Carmen was out with a big boogie. I mean, no, she wasn't. She went live with him. I'm about to go to sleep.